ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, la- 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 ladies and gents, do you know the law has this thing they call, get this out of the way, statutory interpretation? That's right. They call it statutory interpretation. And statutory interpretation is the Supreme Court website, supremecourt.gov. Statutory interpretation. Now, most people, the reason why they have a hard time understanding the law and understanding what judges are saying because they have not done the basics. So before you go in there talking about statutes and all this stuff and repeating what you hear somebody else say, why don't you get a grasp of what they mean by such your interpretation? So we're going to put the link underneath the video, but see, YouTube doesn't like me, especially with the information I've been putting out lately. So now they're trying to make me do some things and so they don't allow links anymore underneath my videos. So, hey, sorry, that's YouTube. They they be they stupid that way. I'm going to get their attention in due course. But right now, they are not my focus. Ladies and gentlemen, watch this. Wake up. Wake up. I need you to explain the following to me as if I was a 15-year-old. Educated youth. Stop listening. Give me one second, y'all, while I check something. Sorry. I had a furnace on, and I'm like, wait a minute, my furnace ain't on. I don't want my furnace like that. And I'm sitting next to the water cooler, and I had the hot water turned on. So that was the thing that was on. And wee-wee. So let me go ahead and let you guys know what you're going to do. When you have a law that you don't understand, when you have a statute that you don't understand, when you have something legal that you don't understand, you're going to put it in BARD or ChatGPT and tell it to explain it to you as if it was, a 12-year-old, an 8-year-old, a 9-year-old, a 15-year-old, a 20-year-old, to the point to where you get to the language that's the sweet spot, as uh, Mr. Michael Collier would say. So you want to get it to the point to where it explains it to you in basic general terms to where you understand it. Now, it uh-uh, doesn't mean that you think like a 15-year-old. No, 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 no. That's not what it's saying. It doesn't mean you think like a 9-year-old and an 8-year-old. What you're trying to do is get it to explain it to you to where you don't have to sit up there and be a rocket scientist to understand it, where it puts it in simplistic words. So we're going to let it talk, okay, and y'all will see. Okay, Okay. I think I understand what you're asking. asking. You're interested in learning about the rules of statutory statutory construction and interpretation as presented in this text, text. and you'd like me to explain them in a way that's that's easy for a 15-year-old to understand. understand. That's a great challenge. challenge. To break it down, down, I'll try to use simpler language and avoid legal jargon while still conveying the key points. Here's what I can... Y'all heard what he's saying? Okay, this is what he can do right here. Do. Watch this. One, One organize, organize the rules, the rules by, categories. by categories. Instead of Instead listing, of listing them, all them all at once, I can group I can them group based them on their main ideas. ideas. For, example, For example, one category, one category could, be could be understanding the plain, the plain meaning of the law. Of the law. Another, could, Another be could be making sure, making sure the, law the law is consistent, is consistent with, with, a- with a- Okay, now he didn't do it, so now I say, so do T-H-A-T. So do that. Instead of explaining to me, I didn't ask you to explain nothing. I told you to... Go ahead and redo it and blah, 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 blah. Whew. Okay. Let's roll up our sleeves and get down to business, he says. Roll up your sleeves. You better roll up something more than your sleeves. Okay. Now, I want y'all to pay attention. Okay, Okay. let's roll up our sleeves sleeves and get down to business business with these rules rules of statutory statutory construction construction and interpretation. interpretation. To keep things organized, organized, I'll break them down into three three main categories. categories. Category Category 1, the law, law, plain and simple. simple. Imagine Imagine you got a cool new skateboard skateboard for your birthday. birthday. To avoid wrecking it the first time you hop on, you'd read the instructions, right? 
Well, well, laws are, laws like, are instructions like instructions for society. For society. These, rules These rules are here, are to, here say. to say. Rule number rule one. one. Read it like, read you, it like mean you mean it. it. This, means, this the means the first step is to understand the law's the plain, plain meaning. meaning. Just like you, Just wouldn't, like you wouldn't try to assemble your skateboard, your skateboard using, using riddles. riddles. No, secret no secret codes or hidden messages. messages. What the law says is what it means. Rule number one. Hold on now. Hold on now. Let me tell you all something. This is the problem because that's exactly what the rule is the plain meaning of the text. The Supreme Court has tons of cases where they say we must follow the act as written. When it's unambiguous, we take it for what it says. But they don't do that. They start to interpret the law is what they say. Not allowed to interpret. It's supposed to be taken for what it means. Okay, hold on now. Rule number two. Number two. two. No solo 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 act. Laws don't don't exist exist in a vacuum. vacuum. They're part of a whole system, system, like the different parts parts of your skateboard skateboard making it roll. roll. So, So, when trying to understand understand one law, law, make sure it fits fits with and makes sense sense in the context context of all the other laws. laws. Now, that's the Bill of Rights. Each Bill of Rights leads to the next Bill of Rights. So the First Amendment leads to the Second Amendment, the Second Amendment leads to the Third Amendment, Third Amendment leads to the Fourth Amendment, and so forth. Bill of Rights is a a collective group of law. Okay, hold on now. Rule number Rule three, number three. Every, word every word counts. counts. Just, like, Just every like every screw matters, matters, on, your matters skateboard, on, your on your skateboard, each word in a law, in a law has, has meaning. Don't ignore, Don't any, ignore of any of them. Remember, Remember even, the even the tiniest piece can make a, can make a big difference in how the whole, how thing, the whole thing works. works. Cate- Cate- Do you guys remember when I told you about the word any? Everybody overlooks the word any. But when you recognize that any is a pay attention negative determiner, Okay, when you recognize that any is a negative determiner, then any becomes a very powerful word. Okay, let's continue. We ain't going to do the whole thing. Category two, Category two. Getting, specific getting specific with words. With words. Imagine, Imagine you find you a cool find sticker a cool to sticker personalize, to personalize your, skateboard. your skateboard. You wouldn't just, you wouldn't slap, just it slap it anywhere, anywhere right? right? You'd choose, You'd the, choose perfect the perfect spot, spot to make it look, make awesome. It look awesome. Laws use Laws specific, use specific words, words for the same for the reason, same reason. To, avoid to avoid confusion and make sure everyone's, sure everyone's on, the on the same page. page. Here are some Here ways, are some they, ways do they do that. Rule number Rule four. four. Definitions, definitions matter. See, every law has a set of definitions. Now, when the statute does not define a word... When a statute does not define a word, then the ordinary meaning occurs. However, here's the problem. Because statutes are law, it's the ordinary meaning of the legal terminology. Don't tell nobody. Sometimes Sometimes laws laws give special special definitions definitions to certain words, words, like how a skateboard skateboard manual manual might define define kickflip. If a law tells tells you what a word means, means, use that definition definition instead of your own guess. guess. Rule number Rule five, number five. Be, careful be careful with, with includes. includes. This word this can be, word tricky. be tricky. Oh, that, that's the include? Sometimes doesn't mean include, means exclude, all of that? Yes, the word includes and the word excludes. Those two words are not definitive. Includes is not all-encompassing. It doesn't include everything. It doesn't include the kitchen sink. Exclude doesn't exclude everything. doesn't exclude the kitchen sink and the silverware and the forks and the spoons. and Yeah, you know what I mean? Hold on. Sometimes, Sometimes it just, it means, just means this is one, this example. Is one example, but other times, other times it, might it might mean there are more, there things, are more like things like this, but I, won't. but I won't, unless there is an exception. List them all. List them all. If you're unsure, unsure double-check double to check see, to if, see the if the law gives, gives any, any hints. hints. Rule number Rule six, number six. Don't, add don't add words that words aren't there. Aren't there. Remember, Remember, your skateboard, your skateboard instructions, instructions wouldn't tell you to wear clown shoes while riding, right? Don't add things to a law that the words themselves don't say. I, you, the laws that you did not know exist and other ones, individuals go ahead and when they are interpreting the court, they go ahead and tell you what the court is saying. Most people take those words and they'll repeat it as if the court actually said it and not realize that they're repeating it verbatim. Ladies and gentlemen, um, as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, when we're reading the scriptures, we're taught not to add our own words, to read it exactly as it says, especially if we're knocking on people's doors that is a good lesson to practice read it as it says don't put your own words because when you add your own words you change the meaning the context it's not your, it's job, not your to job to rewrite, to rewrite the, rules. the rules just to understand, just to understand them. them category, category three. three fairness, fairness, and, fairness clarity and clarity for everyone, for everyone. Imagine, imagine you lend your skateboard, you lend your skateboard to, a to a friend and they wreck it because, because the instructions, the instructions were confusing, were confusing. 
Not cool. Not cool. Laws, need, Laws to need, need to be fair and clear, clear so everyone, everyone knows, knows what's expected, expected and nobody gets, nobody gets unfairly, unfairly punished. punished. That's why we can't have interpretation of the law. The law has to say what it says, and it has to be what's known as unambiguous, without confusing, without conjecture, without all, all that fluff. Well, pay attention. Here are some Here rules are some that rules. keep things in check. Rule number, rule number seven. seven. No guessing, no guessing games. games. Laws can't, Laws be, can't so be so vague, vague that you have that to you guess, have what, guess they what they mean. You deserve you to know exactly what you can and can't do. If a law is confusing, it might be unfair and not enforceable. Rule number eight. No sneaky presumptions. Imagine your skateboard instructions secretly assuming you know how to do a perfect ollie without teaching you. Fine print. Hidden stuff. They cannot hide it from you, y'all. Got to make it right out in the open. Not helpful. Not helpful. Laws, can't Laws can't force you to guess, guess or assume, or assume things, things based, based on hidden on clues. clues. Everything, Everything needs, to be, needs to be spelled out, spelled out clearly. clearly. Rule number Rule nine. nine. Don't punish, Don't punish the, innocent. the innocent. Just like you Just wouldn't, like blame, you wouldn't your blame your friend for wrecking your skateboard, your skateboard if the instructions, if the instructions were, wrong. were wrong. Laws shouldn't Laws punish shouldn't people who didn't understand them or had no way of knowing they were breaking a rule. Which is why if you don't understand the court proceeding, they cannot go forward. Okay? That's it. That's how you understand the law, people. You know, you got to do is do this several times, and you'll start being able to read law, start being able to read the court rules that are written in legalese. All right? Don't say I did nothing for you. Now, I'm going to put that statutory interpretation thing that I did this with, I'm going to put that in here so you all can practice exactly what I just did. All right? All right. I got to go. Got to go. All right. I'm out of here. Goodbye.